Hi guys. Just wanted to do a short video um, about something very, very, very serious in this hour and day we're living in. And it's about the outpouring. Read it and weep, guys, between the porch and the altar, but it's in Joel 2. Read the whole t chapter. Joel 2, 28 and 29. He's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters are going to prophesy. Old men are going to dream dreams. Young men are going to see visions. Guys, it's going to become separation time. We are the storm. Joel's army is going to come forth. No more play time. It's going to be pray time. It's a real deal, guys. The rubber meets the road message. Man's been in messes up long enough. There's plenty of scriptures. I'm a scripture guy. The, the, you can't pour new wine into old vessels. It's an outpouring, guys. Why is it going to be an outpouring? Why is it not going to be revival? God doesn't want to take something that's dead. He's not trying to bring something back to life that's not, that, that's worthless. Honestly. The movement is man-made. Because it's like, oh, there's a move over here. Oh, there's a move over there. Oh, let's follow this preacher. Let's go to that church. Let's go to here. Let's go to there. Let's go to the state. Let's go get this prayer cloth. Whatever. Guys, pick one. It's man-made. Healing. Whatever. It's going to be an outpouring. Why? So that he can get the glory. It'll be his way and his will and his purpose and the way God wants it done. This is not Burger King, guys. Look around. That's all you see. The God of self. Man, it's even it's 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 in the church really bad, guys, too. In the world. It's separation time. You're in or you're out. That's it. It's all right to say. America's in a free fall, guys, as a country. It hurts personally. Really bad. Me. Because I was raised in Minnesota. Well, everybody up there is a Democrat. Well, I didn't vote Democrat. Okay, guys. But I'm not demonizing one side or the other either. It's not a political message. But what I'm saying is... My dad was a Democrat. He's passed now. But he fought valiantly and bravely in Korea for his country. Imagine that. Stood for what he believed. I like John McCain, a Republican. I like John McCain. Same reason. He was a soldier when it wasn't cool to be a soldier. There's an outpouring cut. Sorry, I had a hitch in my mustache. There was, there's an outpouring coming, guys, like never before. It, it, we've just got to be prepared. And he's wanting, why do you think so many scriptures are in there about he that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. What happened on the day of Pentecost is an outpouring of fire from upon high, guys. Purging, purifying, cleansing. Forget what's going on in the world, and there's plenty of it. Trash. Pretty much. Everybody's got something to say, and the, the, the big thing now is bash somebody. Oh, so-and-so said, oh, he put him in their spot. Oh, she put him in her spot. Oh, boom, bam, boom. Who cares? Honestly. I ain't caught up in it, too. We all do. I, you know, I'm... Guilty as charged sometimes too. I'm trying not to be really, really hard. You have to stay prayed up, guys. Because if you're going to be the bride of Christ, if we're going to be the bride of Christ, guys and gals, let me rephrase that. If we're going to be the bride of Christ, act like it. Live in the spirit, not in the flesh. It's a canned answer, I get it. It's easy to do. 
there's all this sensationalism. Everybody's looking for this Shazam moment, you know. Somebody will wave their coat and everybody will get healed and fall to the ground. And <laughs> the real miracle is that person that actually got healed. Not who did it. Just a vessel. No different. Nowadays, everybody just wants to be an apostle, a prophet, or some kind of, you know, they had some deep revelation. Man, that, that's a lame message, guys. I don't like that. I got one. It's not, you know, it's like people are like, I got the secret recipe to KFC, and, and I'm going to tell you, you don't, you don't have it. I heard from God. Da, 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 la, 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 It's in First Peter, too, I think. It's, it's one of my messages. I have a secret revelation. No, you don't. We're different, of course. God made us that way. We all have different roles, mantles. I call them mantles. Mandates from God, of course. Some see, some hear, some plant, some water. Some are some are givers, some aren't. Some, you know, some are just prayer warriors. Some, some are just so in the spirits, you know, I mean, some speak in tongues that no one even knows what they're, but God. Come on, guys and gals. That's Joel's army. And we're not going to break our ranks. We're not going to be all over the map. We're going to have one God, one Jesus, one Holy Ghost, and one established with the foundation of the world, Word of God, one Bible. Not 18,000 different versions. Oh, don't get me started on that one. Sorry. hear and rightly divide the word of God in our hearts. We're going to listen to him. We're going to pray and seek his face. Guys, nobody knows what's, what, what's kind of do. I mean, you can see the handwriting on the wall in some aspects. Unless God intervenes and we're going to crash and burn as far as a country. Seriously. You know it and I know it be a third world country at best but not Joel's army they're not going to be able to stop it guys what God's about to do so go ahead and chase your revival and go ahead and chase your movement you better get a hold of God quit chasing after winds and doctrines Pray about it. I'm no better than you. It took me 40 years, guys. A lot, a lot of mistakes, guys. Plenty of them. Sometimes still do. Sometimes I, that was one of my last messages about what you're heading. I missed God on something very important. And it was 90% there, but that little bit that I was off, man. I finally, finally was like, okay, God. Now, now it's like clean up on aisle 13, Stevie. God, help me. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in need of prayer. So, but I pray. I had a message out about about abortion. And guys, I, I, it, it, I got it two years before I put it out. Two years I prayed about it. That's why I, don't, I really don't care what people say. Because I know where it came from. It's going to be birthed in prayer. This outpouring is going to be birthed in prayer. Honestly, guys, look around. We act like we're this big powerhouse church. Why are we getting stepped on, stomped, trampled over by the devil? One says, we're going to tramp, he's going to be under our feet. We're going to trample on serpents and no deadly thing's going to hurt us. people that profess Christianity are taking shots and jabs or whatever you want to call it. There's a reason why I don't wear a mask. It's not because I want people to get sick. It's not because I don't believe in science. I got I just got out of the hospital. I had to go to the doctor for something for, that was really wrong with my foot with my toe. They were all infected and they wanted to cut them all off. 
so I'm going to take med medicine for it right now. I don't like it at all, guys. But it's started the healing process. I'm trusting God, of course, absolutely. Uh, you know, when they told me they were going to cut everything off, I said, no, get rid of the infection first. Well, where did I get that in prayer? I said, God, what do I do? But this outpouring is going to come, guys, so that we can walk in the Spirit. I put this out a while back. What are you going to do when gas hits 10 bucks a gallon? about to do that now. I think it might have been, almost got there in California as we speak. And I pray for people because what about the people that have two jobs and stuff and really need that? I mean, that's going to really hurt a lot of people. I'm going to trust God and believe God and have faith in Him. And the other piece of that, like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego said, even if He doesn't, we know He's able. What if God doesn't heal you? What if God doesn't give you that job you've been needing? Or, you know, man, he's got provision for you. Building your faith in him. That's where we're at right now, guys. One virus took out the church, pretty much. Why? Because we weren't there. Oh, you know, I get a lot of flack for that. Well, because I'm going to have to stand before God one day, before Jesus and the judge, you know, author and finisher of my faith, and account for this stuff that I'm saying. Many mealy mouthed preachers and so called angels and prophets and apostles and call, call yourself whatever you want. Quit hiding behind and, and stand, sla slapping a label on yourself. Do you even read the job description? Come on, guys. This outpouring is for all that will hearken and listen diligently to the voice. And know that it's God speaking to them. I don't care if you're living under the outhouse, in the outhouse, or the penthouse. God is God. Jesus is Jesus. Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost, and the Word is the indelible written Word, the Spirit of the living God. And it's for all. Get over yourselves, guys and gals, and become part of this army. Really listen. What's he telling you to do? So anyhow, we love you guys. I'm not trying to be a, you know, bust everybody's chops. When I'm, I'm, to, I'm giving you direction Turn to him, the author and finisher of your faith. My, one of my favorite things to do, but I learned it the hard way, honestly, in a trial, several of them, over a period of years. Jesus, what would you do? Because I'm lost and undone and I don't know. I, I was in prayer and I stood straight up in my chair. No one was around. It was six in the morning. And I yelled, Jesus, what would you do? Got my answer twice. Well, no, a bunch of times, but two major ones. And it was exactly what I needed. One was the word. He said, he said, get up, go to James 17. I think it's five, three or five. Three to five. Uh, anyhow, it's the one that says for the wisdom. Sorry, I didn't look it back up. For the wisdom from above is first peaceable, gentle meek, holiness, long-suffering. Everybody's telling me to write this person off. God was telling me to show them love. And I did. It was hard. Because they needed to be wrote off. They weren't doing things very well and very right. And I'll leave it at that. I'm going to hear somebody's dirty laundry. The other one was told me, he said, get up, go to the front door, open the door, and call her home. It's not my message. It's, 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 a, it's a dog story about dog redemption. Come home, precious. And how much more precious are you as a saint, as a soul, as the worth of his son? Man or woman? Green, bat, green black, white, yellow, ugly, Chinese, skinny, tall, whatever. 
pick a nationality. Man, woman, child. Made in his image. So we love you guys. The outpouring is coming, guys. It is coming. Ready or not. So you're going to be one or the other. Because the outpouring, when it comes, it's going to flood. It's already started, honestly. It's going to flood the earth and his inhabitants. And who's going to be able to stand that great and terrible day? It's going to be great and very terrible. How is that? Read it. Study about it. Pray about it. That's what I'm telling you. Get it straight from the source so that we can all follow the same, so we all can know his voice and we all can hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord and be that army and run and not be weary. That outpouring. Love you guys. See you soon.